Thanksgiving is just around the corner. And what better way to celebrate with family and friends than with laughter, love, and Oscar Mayer bacon. We want to give a big thanks to Oscar Mayer for sponsoring this video because they gave us bacon. I love bacon, especially Oscar Mayer bacon. You got those hand trim slices, highest quality cuts of meat. I understand the bacon, it understands me. I can hit it in a frying pan, oven, microwave, and deep fryer. You know that feeling after that sensual flip of the bacon it hits the pan and it just looks so perfect on the other side? You know that feeling. That's perfect bacon, that's Oscar Mayer. I just wish you could smell what I'm smelling right now. Oscar Mayer bacon is the best thing that can happen to a meal. Would you like to add bacon to that salad? I can do that. Bacon with that potato? Uh -huh. Bacon with your steak? Oh! Would you like to add bacon to that burger? Yeah! Bacon cereal? Bacon with the omelet? How about some bacon with that ice cream? Still sounds good. I actually feel bad for Italy. I've been there. That ain't bacon. Guys, we highly encourage you to visit the link in the description. Go to their website, check out all the types of bacon they got. Get hungry, go grab a bunch of it, and then impress your friends and family. Because today, we're gonna show you five ways to bacon cornucopia. So grab some tin foil, mush it together. It's basically like a cone, except the end is a little bit twisted upwards. You can use the center cut, the natural, or the thick cut, and some toothpicks that we just had lying around. And you wrap your Oscar Mayer bacon around the tip and as you add more bacon to it, take a toothpick and just jam it in there. Put it right in the fryer using tongs, rotate it. Did it in the oven, came out perfect. It was like exactly 30 minutes for that one, which is super awesome. When it comes down to it, JP, it doesn't matter how you cook the bacon, the Oscar Mayer bacon comes out perfect every time. Obviously take the toothpicks out before you start to finagle it. After a while, we start to get a grasp of it and it comes right out, look at that. Look at that, that was a beautiful scene of uh, Julia, it just slid right out. You don't need any lubrication, guys. This bacon's resilient. I don't know how they do it. Every day starts with a meal. What is that? Breakfast. That's right, breakfast. The most important meal of the day. My favorite meal of the day. It's surrounded in bacon. It's got that beautiful whipped egg. We grabbed some of the bacon that we had cooked prior, diced it all up. Topped it off with some ooey gooey cheese. Just sprinkle that bacon right on top. The only thing I would add to this was hash browns. I have them in the, in the fridge. But this is perfect. This is a breakfast, guys. There's nothing like bacon and eggs. This one's definitely my favorite so far. <laughs> ah. Mm. See? Fork and a knife. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that's that's good. Well, JP, breakfast time's almost over. It's nearly time for lunch. On to the next one. Mac and cheese, bacon cornucopia. For lunch. Mac and cheese, bacon. Bacon, mac and cheese. Cheese, bacon, mac and cheese, bacon. That's a no-brainer. It's a dream come true. Now that my germ's all over that, I shall eat it. <laughs> Good mac and cheese. It's almost like the mac and cheese we um we made. These are good too. Oh. Ow. I think lunch was a success. How can we make this for dinner? Why isn't there bacon on Thanksgiving? Well, now you can have it. So for this next one, we decided to go cold turkey because <laughs> it was leftover turkey. And then we heated it up. We stuffed it with some delicious mashed potatoes, filled this cornucopia right up to the top, and topped it off with cranberry sauce because you can't have Thanksgiving without cranberry. This is Thanksgiving in a nutshell. Actually, it's Thanksgiving in a bacon cornucopia. <laughs> JP, I'm gonna go in for a bite first before you manhandle this. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure. You gotta get it all. That's why Thanksgiving's so lovely. It's just a mishmash of everything. It's so good. I know. It's Thanksgiving. In my hand! This one is a little bit more difficult to do with the hand, but I'm going to still prove to you that you can do it. <laughs> this is my favorite one. I still like the breakfast one the best. What are you thankful for? Thanksgiving. <laughs> and green bean casserole and pie. All right, JP, we had our breakfast, we had our lunch, we had our dinner, what's next? Dessert. Let's do it. Our fourth bacon cornucopia, the dessert cornucopia. Fun dessert. I don't want apple pie in that. I don't want pumpkin pie in mine. Well, maybe you do and that's okay. We respect that. And that would taste good with bacon. But we want ice cream. All it takes is a couple scoops of vanilla ice cream, some chocolate syrup, and some bacon crumbles, and you got yourself the best bacon cornucopia I think we've made so far. Dessert. How many times have you had a sundae where they put bacon on top? Not enough. That's true. I'm gonna let you take the first bite. Okay. Or, like, no, I'll take the first bite. Okay, yep. That's just beautiful. 
for the saltiness, but the sweet, this is the best. I mean, I already like how the ice cream is so cold that it's actually firming up the bacon a little bit. Makes it stay more together. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the bacon crumbles, the texture. If you've never put bacon on a Sunday before, please do and use Oscar Mayer. Mm -hmm. My favorite. Mm, bacon and ice cream, I love you. But we're not done yet, guys. Still one more we have to do. What else could there be? An actual cornucopia. This part is actually quite, it was quite impressive. I'm surprised I was able to do this. We just worked together twice as much tin foil till we got it the perfect size. The process is very similar. We're just wrapping around, wrapping around, and we use thick cut Oscar Mayer bacon for this one. And once all the pack is gone, we stuck it in the oven. After 45 minutes, it came out perfect. This is it. It's beautiful. I trust this. This is gorgeous. Whoa. All right, so we gotta quickly stuff this here. There it is, that's a bacon cornucopia. Did we go too far? Guys, we did it. We made the bacon cornucopia. We had to finish it off right because that's what Thanksgiving's about. We want to give a big thanks to Oscar Mayer though for sponsoring this video. Comment below, tell me which one you think is the best out of all the bacon cornucopias we did. And if you guys do it, snap a picture of it, send it to us and we'll put it on our website. Yeah. I think we're just gonna let it sit here as a centerpiece yeah. for our Thanksgiving. We might have just said this quickly, but I'm very impressed with this. We did a really good job. Everything came out so great. We didn't even know if this was gonna work. But it did. Oh, the cops are coming for you. Go! Oh! He told me to! Ah! Ah!